हेलो बेकर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक ट्रिपल चॉकलेट फॉक्सटेल मिलेट ब्राउन फॉर दिस रेसिपी आई एम यूजिंग फॉक्सटेल मिलेट फ्रॉम क्रिस्टी लव लेट स्टार्ट द रेसिपी फॉर दिस रेसिपी फर्स्ट वी विल मेल्ट आर चॉकलेट एंड टू मेल्ट द चॉकलेट फर्स्ट हीट वॉटर इन अ पैन एंड प्लेस अ ग्लास बाउल ओवर इट we'll add our chocolate and butter to the bowl because of the heat of the water our chocolate and butter will start melting don't leave your uh, chocolate and butter like that keep stirring it otherwise the chocolate can burn so just keep stirring it and within few seconds you will see the chocolate will start melting once the chocolate and butter will completely melt we will keep it aside and we'll move to the next step for next step in a bowl we will add fresh yogurt the yogurt should be fresh if you are going to use the sa yogurt then your brownies can have that sourness so always make sure that yogurt is fresh now in this yogurt we will add raw cane sugar here i am using raw cane sugar to increase the nutritional value of these brownies in case you don't have raw cane sugar you can use regular white sugar or brown sugar as well in the same amount using a whisker whisk it until sugar dissolves completely once our sugar completely dissolves we will add chocolate and butter solution to it and we'll whisk it we'll mix the chocolate into the yogurt and uh, sugar solution in a separate bowl we will take instant coffee powder and we'll add around 2 tsp of hot water to dissolve the coffee and we'll keep it aside we will later add it to our batter if you don't have instant coffee or you prefer to use coffee decoction then you can use 1 tablespoon of coffee decoction as well here i am not using any artificial essence that uh, this coffee will add that flavor to our brownie using a sifter i will sieve all my dry ingredients now in a sifter add whole wheat flour foxtel millet unsweetened cocoa powder baking powder and start sieving all the dry ingredients this uh, sieving of the dry ingredients not only helps to in, uh, remove the unwanted particles from the recipes but it also helps to aerate the dry ingredients now using a spatula i will use cut and fold method to mix my dry ingredients into wet ingredients there should be no lumps this is the time to add our coffee mixture make a smooth batter using the same cut and fold method now why i am using foxtel millet because it has lots of benefits this millet is used for reducing the factors of diabetes hence it helps to maintain the blood sugar levels it helps in regulating cholesterol levels this millet is very high in dietary fiber that's why it helps in curing digestive disorders the list is endless so there are many other benefits of this millet which i have written in detail in my written recipe which you will find on my blog anybodycanbake.com don't miss to check my written recipe for the benefits of the foxtel millet now i will add dark chocolate chips to my recipe these are triple chocolate brownies so in this recipe we are using chocolate in three different ways first one was when we melted our chocolate with butter second using the cocoa powder and third is we will add, uh, in the form of chocolate chips so add chocolate chips to the batter and mix it 
Now we will pour this batter into a lined 8 by 8 inches square tin. Brownies batter is generally thick as compared to the cake batter. So don't add extra milk or liquid content to make it of a cake like batter. Using a spatula, spread the batter evenly. Now we will bake these brownies in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for around 20 minutes. In brownies, if you insert toothpick, then it will come out with little crumbs. That is perfectly fine. The best sign to check your brownies after baking, do, these should be firm from the corners and soft from the center. This is a sign that your brownies are completely baked. So bake your brownies only for the 20 minutes. So triple chocolate foxtail brownies are ready.